What is up guys? Welcome to the number 8 of our 10 days yoga challenge. If you made it this far, you should be feeling really really proud about yourself and I am proud of you because it takes a lot of courage. A lot of courage to step into your mat the first day but also to step into your mat every single day after that. So if you made it this far, congratulations to you. Today's practice it's all about balance. I believe balance to be one of those areas in life where we all struggle with. Me personally, I've been struggling with balance my entire life. And not because I do yoga every single day means that my life is completely solved and everything is on balance and everything is in sync. Because that's completely not true. And that is why yoga for me has been such a therapeutic and life-changing experience. So this practice is really gonna help you in grounding yourself and bringing all that energy that we carry up here, all those thoughts, all those negative emotions and chatters, and bring it down, down, down to the root of our core, to our heart, to our center, to our well-being, so we can feel calm and relaxed. So I promise you this practice is going to leave you calm, relaxed, balanced, and energized, so you can go about your day without so much thinking, so much confusion, and you can think clearly and don't get too much in your own way. So I hope you enjoy the practice. I'll see you guys in your mind. We are going to begin standing up in the front of our mats. Stand tall, bring both feet together, and ground to your mat with your toes. Open your hands by your side for mountain pose. Find a stability through the entire body, and whenever you feel ready, close your eyes. Begin bringing your attention to your breath and to your physical body. Start relaxing your forehead, the middle of your eyes, the mouth, and all the jaw muscles that we tend to carry a lot of tension in. Relax your neck, shoulders, arms, your core, and all the way down to your hips, legs, and calf. Finally, feel your feet grounded to the floor. Take a deep inhale and slowly raise your hands up towards the sky while bringing all that energy from the earth up through our entire physical body. And then towards our heart while bringing our hands towards our heart center. Let's take a moment here to set up an intention for our practice. Slowly begin to blink your eyes open on the next inhale, raise your hands all the way up towards the sky and big exhale all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and exhale, step or float to the back of your mat. Keep exhaling, lowering down to Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing and exhale to the first downward facing of your practice. Spread your fingers wide and start bending one knee at a time to slowly open up your body. Feel the energy connecting from the tip of your fingers all the way up to your arms, your back, your low back, and then all the way lower to your legs and your feet. On the next inhale, bend your knees, look forward, float a step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Take a deep inhale and raise all the way up towards the sky, and exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale, raise back up, fingers to touch, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift your chest, halfway lift, and exhale, plant your hands, step or flow to the back of your mat. Inhale, upward facing, and exhale, downward facing.
Begin to feel the heat and the warmth inside your body that you just created. You can add slightly movement side to side, explore your body, explore your space. Remember that balance is not about standing still, but about doing subtle movements that allows your mind and body to feel calm and in complete harmony. On the next inhale, raise your left leg up towards the sky, bring your knee towards your chest, plant your foot, rotate the back foot 45 degree angle and inhale for warrior one. Try keeping your gaze on your big thumbs without losing awareness of the low part of your body. Open your hands and transfer to warrior two. The front foot stay the same while the back foot rotates just a slightly bit, creating a 90 degree angle. We're gonna transfer now to warrior three. Bring your hands to your heart center and slowly lift the back leg off the mat, finding your balance on your left leg. Find your balance and find your center. And if you fall, don't worry, just get back up. If you are feeling comfortable, you can raise your hands up to challenge your balance. This is definitely not a requirement. On the next exhale, bring the back foot and connect the knee to your chest. Find a stability into your left foot and slowly grab your knee. I know probably the left leg is a little bit shaky right now, but I stick to it. Let's do just one more full breath. Inhale and then exhale, release the leg down. On the next inhale, raise all the way up towards the sky and exhale forward fold. Inhale for halfway lift and exhale, plant your hands, step or float to the back of your mat. Inhale for upward facing and exhale downward facing. Let's go right away to the other side. Inhale, raise your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, connect the knee to your chest, plant your foot and inhale raise all the way up for warrior one. Keep grounding through the big toes while you look at your thumbs. Open your hands and arms wide open for warrior two. Keep your eyes on one single point and feel the awareness of your entire body connected as one single thing. Slowly let's transfer to warrior three. Find the balance on your right leg. Extend the left leg back to the back of the room and send the crown of your head forward. If you raise your hands on the other side, do the same thing here. On the next exhale, bring your hands to heart center while connecting your knee towards your chest, grounding into your right foot. Keep finding your balance and your center. If you fall, just get back up. Slowly grab your knee with both hands. And release your leg. Go back to being on both feet. Take a moment here on mountain pose, open your palms wide open, send your shoulders back and down and feel yourself grounded to the earth. Open your eyes and bring the right knee up towards your chest and grab it with both hands. Be aware of the new space that you just created the new awareness that you now can see. Keep balancing on your left foot and slowly open your knee towards your right, keeping your hips facing forward as much as possible. If you feel comfortable here, you can try looking at your left shoulder and try to find balance there. As you can see, I, I couldn't find too much balance in there, so just get back up if you fall. Connect the foot to your leg for three pose and bring your hands to your heart center. 
doesn't really matter if your foot is high, is low, if your knee is not completely open to the right. There are so many trees in this world and none of them look the same. If you feel comfortable, raise your hands up towards the sky and maybe close your eyes. As you can see, I tried closing my eyes, couldn't make it there. But it's all good, just go to a place where you feel comfortable. We are doing the other side, bring your left knee towards your chest and find the balance through the root of your right foot. Slowly open your knee towards your left, place your right hand on your hip and hold here. This is already pretty challenging for me right now, so you can stay here or you can look at your right shoulder if you're feeling comfortable. Connect the foot to your thigh, open your hips and bring your hands to your heart center. And if you feel uncomfortable, raise your hands up towards the sky, maybe try closing your eyes. Go back to center and release your foot. Inhale, rise all the way up, connect your hands together and exhale, bend your knees and twist over to your left, bringing your right elbow towards your left knee. We're going to inhale, rise all the way up and exhale, bend your knees and twist to the other side. If this is too challenging, you can spread your feet wider apart. Inhale, rise back up and exhale, repeat on the other side. Last one, inhale, rise all the way up and exhale, bend your knees and connect your left elbow to your right knee. Keep your knees slightly bent and plant your hands in front of them. And we're gonna try crow pose. Keep your hands grounded to your mat and bring each knee to your armpit as high as you can. Lift one foot only and stay there and plant it down and lift the other foot. Maybe this is all you can do today, you can stay here, but if you feel uncomfortable, just transfer the weight from your feet to your hands and try finding your balance into the pose. Release down and go to a squat to rest. Don't worry if you didn't get it today or even tomorrow, it'll come as you practice and even though this is a yoga challenge you don't need to be doing everything that I'm doing here plant your hands on the mat let's go for round two maybe bringing your knees to the outside of your tricep it will make it a little bit easier try finding your balance if you're in crow pose kick yourself back into chaturanga inhale upward facing and exhale child's pose Catch your breathing, move around, relax your low back, open your hips, bring those arms long and long in front of you. Take a moment here to reset your breathing, to calm your nervous system and to calm your mind. Slowly come up for kneeling pose. Grab both hands behind your back and open your shoulders down and back. Sending the chest up and forward as much as you can. Feel your heart opening up and ready to receive whatever life might bring you today. Slowly release your hands and go to a comfortable seated position. That can be cross leg, one leg on top and one leg below. It can be half lotus, full lotus whichever serve your practice right now. Twist over towards your right, slightly twist just to reset our spine and to bring everything back to equilibrium. Inhale back to center and exhale, twist over to your left side. Release your arms and place them on top of your knees. Close your eyes and release whatever tension is left in your body. 
Release control over your breathing. And just let everything is as it is meant to be. As always, please feel free to stay on this pose for as long as you want. Thank you guys so much for allowing me to share my practice with you. Love you all. Namaste.